What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakir and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, in today's video, I am going to show you that how you can migrate, clone or transfer any WordPress website to any new domain or new hosting service. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you need to this channel, then please do subscribe this YouTube channel. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. So guys, following this video, you don't have to download the WordPress file or database file manually. Only using one single plugin and with few clicks, we can easily migrate any WordPress website or transfer any WordPress website to any new domain. So without talking too much, let's get into our computer and let me show you step by step how to do that. Okay guys, so now you can see my computer screen. And now if I open my Google Chrome browser, here you can see on this subdomain starcomputer.webadminbd.com I have fresh install WordPress only. There is nothing else, just a fresh WordPress install on this website or the subdomain. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my Firefox browser and this is a client website. I'm going to clone, migrate or you can say transfer this website to my this subdomain. So now let me show you how to do that step by step. So first of all, what you need to do, you have to install a plugin called WP Vivid. For this, on this fresh WordPress install website, I'm going to click on my blog, then go to dashboard. Then from here, I'm going to click on plugin and add new plugin. Then I will search for a plugin called WP Vivid. Then you have to install this WP Vivid by WP Vivid Backup and Migration. Click on Install Now. Then click on Active to activate this plugin. Now from this plugin, go to Key and click on Generate. And it will generate a random key like this. You have to copy this key from here. Now get back to your client website or the website what you want to transfer or migrate. Again, go to Dashboard. Then go to plugin, add new plugin, and also search here WP Vivid plugin on this client website and install the same plugin and activate it on the website. Now, from here, go to auto migration and paste that key, whatever you copied from a blank website, then click on save. Then it will generate a key like this. Now from here, make sure to choose database plus files. Then click on clone the transfer. And now it will take some time to create a backup of this website or client website and send this backup to our blank website. It's gonna take some time. So you have to wait until the backup is completed. The time duration will be depend on the size of your website and the files you have on your website. So just sit back and relax. Okay. So guys, here you can see now it's showing one backup task is finished. Now what you need to do, you can minimize your client website or the website what you want to migrate or transfer. Then on this blank WordPress website, click on backup and restore. Then reload this page. Now here you can see we got a backup. And now we are going to use this backup to restore the site on this domain. First of all, let's open this website in another tab. Here you can see right now the outlook of this website. Now to restore the website or migrate the website or you can say transfer the website, get back to your admin panel. Then from here click on restore. Then click on restore. Then OK. Now again, it will take some time to restore the website to this subdomain. So just sit back and relax. And remember one thing, once this website is restored, you will be automatically get logged out from this website. And then you have to log in to admin panel of this website using the client user account credentials. Here you can see Restoring is 83% completed. So we have to wait a little bit more. Okay guys, 
Here you can see restoring 100% completed and we'll get a pop-up called restore completed successfully. Now when I will click on OK, it will automatically log out from this website. So let's click on OK. And here you can see it logged out from that website. Now if I go to this next tab, this blank website and refresh this website. Here you can see the website is transferred or migrate to this new subdomain. So guys, like this, you can easily transfer, migrate any WordPress website to any subdomain or any other domain or any other hosting service provider. Now to log in this website, you have to use the credentials of your client website. So here you need to type the username, then you need to paste the password. I'm going to click on remember me, then click on login. Okay. So guys, here you can see the admin panel of this star computer website. So guys, like this, you can easily migrate any website without downloading the database file or WordPress file manually. Just with the WP Vbit plugin and with some click, you can easily migrate or transfer any WordPress website to any other domain or hosting service provider. And make sure one thing, after completing this, you can remove this plugin and the delete this backup file. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you need to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil. You are watching a tech tutorial and I'm signing out.